Hey guys, this is Chris Brigandi of Brigandi Coins and Collectibles here in New York City, and welcome to another edition of Brigandi TV. Today I have a very special piece. It's a Harry Houdini autograph. Yes, one of the first well-known magicians and entertainers of his time. Now, Harry Houdini autographs are pretty rare in general. They're definitely out there, but what makes this piece extraordinarily rare is that it's on a signed photo, and what really puts it over the top is that it's from 1904. So most autographs out there from Harry Houdini are going to be from the teens and 20s. Now, Harry Houdini died in 1926, tragically because of one of his stunts. So anything signed by Harry Houdini is going to is pretty rare. But again, this is extraordinarily rare because it's a photo and it's from 1904. So to put in perspective, 1904, Harry Houdini just came back from Europe. And he is now a budding superstar, magician, entertainer, escapologist. And so he's just back to the United States. Um, this is done in Chicago, this photo, 1904. So if you're getting a little tight on the photo, uh, very cool photo, very, it's clear, very nice photo. Now, if this was unsigned, this would be a valuable photo, just the photo itself. It's, and now it's mounted here, and then he signed the mounting below. So the autograph obviously adds tremendous value here. And it's not just any Houdini autograph. A lot of Houdini autographs you're gonna see from the teens and 20s are just this, Houdini only. Sometimes you get Harry Houdini, um, but he was, here you, we have with best wishes. Now he did add inscriptions here and there. A lot of a lot of what you see though, again, letters, books are just gonna be Houdini. Sometimes it's just HH. So what's nice about this, again, you have a lot of ink. Now that's not just great for the collector and the value of the item, but also helps authentication. It's a lot better or a lot easier for authenticators when they have more ink to look at. Now. Forgers, obviously, they want simple is best. So, you know, the more ink, the more ironclad the authentication is, and obviously the, the better the value. Now, um, Harry Houdini's autograph, um, again, rare because he died in 1926. Uh, and most you're going to see are from the teens and 20s. But this is just a, a really extraordinary item. Uh, it's the first one that I've seen uh, up close and personal like this. Again, mostly you're going to find are cuts and letters and stuff like that. Uh, one of the other cooler items you'll see, but again, it's from the teens and 20s, are his magician cards. Now, he was the president of the Society of American Magicians. And to, when you were part of the society, he would you would have a card and he would sign it as a president. So those are, those are pretty valuable, pretty cool too. But again, those are from the teens and 20s. So this is a really cool item. Uh, we don't get a lot of... Harry Houdini autographs, again, they're pretty rare, but this is, you know, extraordinary considering the time and that it's on a photo itself. Um, of course, things like this, they don't last long and they disappear pretty quickly. So this is actually uh, came in and it's gone basically in the, the same week we received it uh, to a collector who appreciates, you know, fine pieces like this. If you have any questions about uh, early historical autographs, Harry Houdini or anybody uh just give, give us a shout comment below info at brigandycoin.com uh, i'd love to hear what you think thanks again for watching